Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Well, he probably already knows that. You tweeted it half an hour ago. But the church is realising with new technologies comes new ways to communicate with its followers. David Walker, the Bishop of Manchester, is leading the campaign to get more vicars on Twitter by teaching 30 members of the clergy lessons in social media. He said, I'd want to recommend it to all vicars who want to stay in touch with both their communities and the wider world. It's cheap, it's effective, and it doesn't even make you fat. The Right Reverend Andy Salmon, or should that be RT Reverend? Get it? RT? Retweet? Oh, never mind. Well, it supports the Bishop of Manchester. Um, social media is a tool, uh, a tool that lots of people use, and we in the church should be no different than anybody else, uh, make use of what's out there. Um, it would be odd if, for instance, we were not using phones, you know. We use the tools that are there to communicate. Not ones to be outdone by the Christian counterparts, the Catholics are modernising, even mentioning the very hip fax machine. Some of the older priests were saying, you get up in the morning, you wait for the postman, he delivers the post, you spend half an hour or so actually writing a letter back to someone else in response to what they're asking you. Now, you have to check the fax machine, you have to check your emails, you have to check text messaging because of the way communication has moved on. Condensing this into this may prove tricky, but it's one sure way of getting more followers, both on Twitter and in the congregation. Dan McLaughlin, Keys TV News.